Hey everyone, here's a video on how to solve exponential functions using the graphing calculator. You're always going to use these three steps. We're going to write a function to model the situation using the formula that we have already discussed. Um, a of t, which is the final amount, equals a, which is the initial amount, times 1, plus if the value is going up, minus if the value is going down, r, which is the rate in decimal form, raised to the power of t, which will be our time. Then we'll graph the two parts in our calculator. Basically, we'll graph it in uh, two different functions. So we'll take the things on the left-hand side and put that in as f1 of x, and the things on the right-hand side and look at f2 of x. Then we'll use the graph to determine the intersection of the two parts to determine our answer. So let's look at an example. This is example two in your textbook. Tony purchased a rare 1959 Gibson Les Paul guitar in 2000 for $12,000. Experts estimate that its value will increase by 14% each year. Use a graph to find when the value of the guitar will be $60,000. So let's fill in the information for our function. So our initial amount was $12,000. So we'll have $12,000 as our small a value. And then we'll have 1. And we have to determine, is this going to be a plus or a minus? Well, it's increasing by 14%, so we're going to put a plus. And then that 14% is a decimal of 0.14. And then the final amount will be the 60,000. So we'll put our final amount of 60,000 over here. We're looking for when, so we don't know the value for t. So that's what we're going to solve for. Now, to put it into the calculator, I'm going to take this left-hand side and put that in as one function on my graph. And then I'll take this right-hand side and put that in as a second function on my graph as well. Then I'll look for the intersection. So let's look at the calculator. All right, so in a graph, I'm going to put my first function in as 60,000. And then I'll put in another function. And by the way, you're not going to see that first one because it's way off the graph. But my second function will be the right-hand side of my equation, which was 12,000 times 1 plus 0.14, and then my exponent was t when I wrote it down, but the calculator understands it as x, so I'll raise it to the power of x. Hit enter. Now to be able to see the graph, I'm going to have to make some adjustments to my window. One way that you could do this, and there are several, is you can double click on the top number there. And so that it represents our highest y value currently on the screen. But we know that there's a line at 60,000. So I'm going to pick a number bigger than that. How about 70,000? Now I can see both of my graphs, but I'm needing to look for the intersection. So I'm just going to click and hold in a blank space on my graph so that hand shows up and then I can move it over. Now I can see where my graph is. Okay, so my red line there is at 60,000 and the green line is my other function. So now I will look for the intersection by going to Menu. Analyze Graph Intersection, Lower Bound, I'll click on the left, and I am see the lower bound at the bottom part of the screen there. So Lower Bound, I'm going to click on the left, Upper Bound, click on the right, and here I can see 12.3, comma, whoops, come back, 6e uh, plus 4. That 6 times e plus 4, that just means 6 times 10 to the 4th power, that's 6,000. 60,000, I'm sorry. Uh, so the 12.3, remember that we replaced the t in our equation with the x. So the 12.3 is our time value. Therefore, it will take 12.3 years for the guitar to reach a value of $60,000. Now let's look at another example. Here's example three from your textbook in chapter 7-1. The value of a truck brought, uh, bought new for $28,000 decreases 9.5% each year. Write an exponential function and graph, then use the graph to predict when the value will fall to $5,000. So again, let's plug in the information into our function. So our initial amount is 28,000. So we'll have 28,000 times 1. Now to figure out if it's plus or minus, we look up here, it says decreases, so that will be a minus. That rate of 9.5% in decimal form will be 0 
Remember, that's not 0.95, that would be 95%. So we need to add that extra zero for 9.5%. And we're looking for whenever it falls to $5,000. So that's our final amount. Put that over here. We're not given the time. We're looking for the time value. So now what I'm going to do is take this function and split it into two parts. I'll put the first half as f1 of x, and I'll take the second half and put it into f2 of x. Then we'll look for the intersection. So let's switch back over to the calculator. Okay, so here's my calculator. I've cleared out my screen. You can always press uh, doc b to clear it out, but I cleared it out from the previous function. My first function um, was the 5,000, which was the ending amount. So I'm going to put that line on there, and we're not going to see it for just a moment. And then I will now put the second line, uh, second side of our function, which was 28,000 times 1 minus that 9.5 percent, so that's 0 0.095, and then raised to the, in our function we did have it as um, t, but now we'll use x because that's what our calculator understands, and hit enter. Again, we're not going to see it on the screen because our window scale is not quite right. So we're going to double click on that y value. We know the ending y value is 5,000, so I'm going to pick a number bigger than that. And then I can see my graph here, um, but I don't see the other side of it. So I'm just going to start moving this over, and you'll see that down from the top right corner there, my function shows up. So you can always click and drag in a blank space to get the graph somewhere else on the page. So in red is the 5,000 and in green is the other part of our function. Now we just look for the intersection by going to menu, analyze, graph, and intersection. And then for lower bound I'll click on the left, upper bound on the right. So here I have this 7.3 comma 5e plus 3. So that again that 5e plus 3 that means 5 times 10 to the third which is just the 5,000. So our time here was 17.3, so putting that back into our um, terms of our function or our situation, we will get that it will take 17.3 years for this truck to um, decrease to a value of $5,000 from the $28,000. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you later. Bye.